is Aldera, one of the world's largest raised coral atolls located in the Western Indian Ocean, one of Seychelles Islands. A UNESCO World Heritage Site managed by the Seychelles Islands Foundation. It is a sanctuary to some very special and rare animals. Its coral reefs teem with life. Aldebra is far away from any large human settlement, being located more than a thousand kilometers away from Seychelles' main island, Mahe, with a location that makes it difficult to reach and inhospitable conditions. It is spared most of humanity's direct impacts, making it not only one of the world's least disturbed ecosystems, but also an ideal location for scientific research. The only people living here are the 15 team members of the Aldebar Research Station who protect the atoll under the Seychelles Islands Foundation's mandate. An essential part of the team's work is the monitoring of Aldebar's coral reefs and its inhabitants. Although Aldebar is protected from major local impacts such as fishing and development, it cannot escape the effects of climate change. The first time a long-term marine monitoring program at Aldebar was set up was in 1999, right after the first global coral bleaching event. This program was carried out by researchers from the University of Cambridge who studied Aldebar's reefs annually until 2008 when piracy in the region prevented them from returning. Following several years of no further marine monitoring, SIF established its Aldebar Reef Monitoring Program in 2013, just before the most recent and so far most severe global coral bleaching event the world has seen. The Aldebar Reef Monitoring Program takes place each year. The team uses diver and video surveys at 12 fixed sites to record the cover of corals and other species on the seafloor, as well as fish diversity and abundance, which allows to assess changes over time. Water temperature and sea level are also recorded with marine data loggers that are placed on the reefs. The main aim of the reef monitoring program at Aldebra is to record and understand changes to its coral reefs. Because Aldebra is so far away from direct human impact, climate change and the resulting rise in sea temperatures are among the main stresses to its coral reefs. But this creates an opportunity to understand current conditions and how reefs respond. Because of its isolation and uh, minimal human impact, Aldabra can be used as a regional and global baseline to monitor climate change impact on the ecosystem. The marine program for Aldabra was set up to assess the health of the reef and the change over time. This helped SIF with management decision for the site. This is not only relevant for SIF and the conservation of Aldabra, but it also tells us which conservation actions we can take on reefs elsewhere that will help make reefs um, persist through the climate crisis. After the devastating coral bleaching of the late 1990s, 2016 saw many of the world's coral reefs, including Aldebras, suffer from yet another major bleaching event which caused widespread and severe damage. And what we know and found through the monitoring is that the outer reefs of Aldabra, so the seaward reefs, experienced a higher coral mortality. It was about 50 to 60 percent. Whereas the reefs inside the lagoon um, had a coral mortality of around 34 percent. The 2016 bleaching event therefore created an opportunity for the Seychelles Islands Foundation to make use of the Aldera Reef Monitoring's baseline data and record not only the bleaching of the reefs, but also their recovery. So in 2019, 
only four years after the beaching event, the reefs inside the lagoon were almost back to what they were before the bleaching event in terms of coral cover. And although also the reefs on the seaward side are recovering, recovery is slower. And this is most likely related to the different environmental conditions that we have on the seaward reefs and also inside the lagoon, which are related to what kind of species we find of corals, um, how they are adapted to variable temperatures and such. Very exciting findings and very important and a very important baseline for further research into reef resilience. With Aldebra being Seychelles' largest marine protected area and one of the largest in the Western Indian Ocean, it is vital that its marine program collects high quality, regionally comparable and readily available data which not only contributes to the protection of Aldebra's coral reefs, but also Seychelles and the region's blue economy. Consequently, the Aldebra Reef Monitoring Program is a brilliant example of turning challenges into opportunities. We are collecting valuable data that are essential for the fulfillment of uh, Aldebra management objectives. The Aldebra Reef is near pristine, and uh, studying Aldebra Reef will give a uh, good understanding of the marine biodiversity. Storms have become more frequent, the sea level is rising, the water temperature is increasing and I think it is uh, very important to continue with uh, the Adabra Reef monitoring and uh, the staff who are being trained here on Adabra also benefit when they return to Mahi to work with other organizations to share their knowledge and experience of Adabra. For two years, um, I was the senior field research assistant then. Uh, my duties were mostly to take part in uh, the, um, the marine research. I believe that the Aldaba Reef Monitoring Program is important um, because it offers a unique uh, source of information for research. Um, Aldaba is quite isolated, it has a long history of uh, conservation. Um, it is the ideal place to form a baseline because of the very limited human impacts that we have there, so it can be used to compare other effects around us. Another who contributed to the Aldebra Reef Monitoring Program is Stephanie Maggi. She was on Aldebra during the 2015 bleaching event, having a front row seat while collecting data and gathering key experiences. It was something very interesting because it was totally different because I'm used to um, being on land, doing like the other monitoring. So it was something to learn about and also to kind of understand what we were doing also. Um, my current position is a research technician at SFA. Um, uh, it has helped me because I was not very comfortable in the water because I used to panic because I was not used to um, like encounters with sharks because on Adaba this is something that you get a lot like encounters with sharks and from being like in the water during the during the um, reef monitoring it has helped me be comfortable. The unforgettable beauty of Adaba's reefs, its abundance of life and the ability for our staff to develop critical skills makes working within the Adabra Reef Monitoring Program an incredible experience. There are so many things that excite me about being part of the Reef Monitoring Program at Adabra and one thing is of course the diving. Diving at Adabra, a place that is so far away from everything and where not many people get to go really is a privilege. It always is a little adventure to go around the atoll and uh, dive and do the surveys where we see so many sharks, so many turtles, and such a diversity and huge abundance of fish. Um, of course, another aspect of um, the excitement of the monitoring now is seeing the recovery of Adara reefs after the beaching events. There's things that here in Mahe you cannot see, and like on Adara there's things I've seen that I don't know if I'm gonna, ever going to see it back, so yeah. Completing each arm season without uh, any major issues is a big achievement for me. 
Alaba is uh, remote and transport infrequent. So it's important to have a very good planning and to be flexible. And uh, also, I makes me happy and I'm grateful to see all the young Seshiroa taking part, the young scientists and returning back after each, uh, each dives with uh, so much excitement and big smile. So that's something really um, nice to see. <laughs> the Alaba Reef Monitoring Program's findings have proven to be exceptional. They show the impressive post-bleaching recovery of Alaba reefs and our ocean's potential, the main source of food for half the world's population, to recover. These results are being used by the Seychelles Islands Foundation and its partners as baseline information for the protection of Seychelles and the world's blue resources that not only feed us, but allow us to breathe and protect us from climate change. Consequently, while ARM offers exceptional views and a bucket list experience for divers, it is a serious and critical tool in our fight against climate change. The climate crisis will continue to destroy our ocean and threaten our way of life if we do not understand the ways in which we can help nature heal itself. SIF firmly believes we still stand a chance at saving Adabra's reefs and the life that depends on them. You can play a role to help. You can also be a part of the Aldebar Reef Monitoring Program, which takes place every Northwest Monsoon between October and January. If you are a qualified Seychelles diver and are willing to be contacted by us, please fill the Seychelles Marine Research Diver Database form on our website. If you want to know more about the arm, you can follow our social media pages or sign up to our monthly newsletter. If anybody wants to actually take part in it or ever are thinking of doing it or wants to do it later, like I would say, go for it. It's gonna be a great experience and you're gonna love it. There is no regret, I did it for two years. So definitely anyone who has the opportunity to actually walk there, it's gonna be an experience that uh, um, they will not get anywhere else. So definitely, yes, I will recommend that. We hope the Araba Reef Monitoring Program story inspires you to know more about our ocean and take action. Will you?